Hey everybody, Miranda here, coming back at you with another video. I am so excited today because we are going to be doing the unboxing and full product review of the Mickey Waffle I bought a couple weeks ago. I am so excited to get this video started because let's be honest, this is what we're having for dinner, so we gotta film this before we can have dinner. <laughs> But, with that being said, we are gonna make Mickey waffles, we are gonna make mini waffles, we are gonna make Donald waffles, as well as Pluto waffles, as you can see on the box. But, my mom is here, she's gonna help out with the cooking and the unboxing, I guess. And we are gonna have some fun times talking and cooking and hanging out. Kind of talking about the Disney news that came up this week. I think we are going to have some hot cocoa and start unboxing. Opening the big boy, the big box. I'm so excited, I keep hitting it because I'm weird. It's not a drum. The reveal, the ultimate reveal. Ah! Oh, it takes up the whole entire box. Holy cats, okay. Oh, it's even, all of the buttons are even written in Disney font, how cute. <laughs> well, it comes out like this. Whoops. <laughs> It's so cute! Let's get rid of the box. <laughs> I'll look at the direction. <laughs> okay, you guys, this is the cutest waffle maker ever. Bye, styrofoam. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute! Okay, you guys, this is the best ever. I'm just throwing things because I can. I'll pick it up later. Guys, it's so cute and vibrant on the front. Oh. So you got Mickey and Minnie and Donald and Pluto. Oh, it's made out of like aluminum on the top. Well, that's gonna get warm real fast. So don't touch it. It'll probably be scalding hot by the time we warm this bad boy up. I also really love how the button's even on the front. So it has an on and a ready button. Oh, wait. Just kidding, it's to, there are LED lights. So it has LED lights to tell you when it is on and when it is ready to start cooking and then it's just a turn dial. Oh, that's gonna get annoying really fast with the make a beat. No, no, no. <laughs> this is why I break things. Yes. Just kidding, I don't break things. And it, it's really nice that it tells you where like it starts to get a light coloration versus a dark completely burnt waffle, so we won't be doing that. Other than that, it feels like a pretty well-built waffle maker. I don't know how to base it off of. I don't own other waffle makers. This is not a long cord. This could be, okay. This is it. This is all you get, you guys. Yes, there is a zip tie, but this is it. So let's hope that you have a long enough extension cord at your house. So one downside so far, very short cord. I get that it's supposed to be made for kitchens, so that's probably why it's a shorter cord, which is fine. We have extension cords somewhere around here, but let's open it up and remove the paper inside because we do not want to burn that and burn down the house. But again, oh, they're so cute. So they match. They don't, okay. The waffles are not gonna look like this. They are gonna look like regular Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Goofy waffles. So it's more their side profiles instead of full bodies. So slightly, slightly sad on that, even though it is on the box, so I should have known it. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. But yes, pretty, pretty sturdy waffle maker. And yeah, I'm so excited to start cooking on this. So she's reading the instructions and being the responsible adult. Like I should be. <laughs> but now we should probably get going on with the cooking and the actual making of the waffles. What do you say? Clean it first. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I should probably then, <laughs> then cook the waffle. Guys, I'm five. I don't know how to do things. I just want it now. So we will get a damp rag and get on with cleaning the waffle maker. So PSA. Always clean your waffle maker before you use it the first time. Cleaning the waffle maker. Cleaning it. Damn. 
we're gonna have some waffles today. And I'm so excited! Breakfast for dinner! Do -do 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 -do. Now that it is heating up, we are gonna put some Pam. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna mess this up because everybody in the room is watching me, but here goes nothing. I don't know how thick it's supposed to be. That's good, not a lot. You don't want it to not taste like a that. Lot. Just spread it around. You have to get it in the nooks and crannies. There you go, now. Guys, I can cook! We have buttermilk pancake mix. Oh, it's pancake mix and we're putting it in the waffle maker. It's Give it the a same whirl. thing. So, we're gonna have, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a good cup. One. <laughs> oh, by the way, we're using our new Mickey Mouse silicone measuring cups. This is gonna work out great. Do, 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 that's too full. Do, do, do. And you, have <laughs> you were the one who brought this one down. I did four and now I have to do 30 cups of water, right? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna help her out. <laughs> Guys, I'm a mess. My hand is all full of powder. It's great. You can't tell because my skin's so white. Welcome to my German heritage. This is cooking with the Keenitzes. That's what my cooking show should be called. Yes, that's such a good idea. I almost touched the waffle maker and I would have probably burnt my hand. It is time to make the first batch of waffles. I'm so excited. So we're gonna use this smaller silicone Mickey Mouse measuring cup, which is a quarter of a cup, and we're gonna fill all four of these with the pancake slash waffle batter, and we're gonna see how well this works out. Probably not well, but hey, here we go. All right, how excited are you for Star Wars Land? Star Wars Land by itself? Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, I feel like I say so excited a lot, but I am very excited about Star Wars Land. Uh, I don't have the dates ready for you, but it is opening, I believe, in, it's opening earlier than what it was supposed to be opening, which is really mm -hmm. exciting. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be opening April or May of this year. For In Disneyland. Disneyland, mm -hmm. right. And then I know it's August 31st. Marana, future Marana, fix this and post if I'm wrong. But April 31st, I believe, or April. August 31st is when it is opening for Disney World, World, which is really exciting. Now, if you guys are planning on going to Star Wars Land, when it first opens at Disneyland in April or May of this year, please be sure that you read the fine print. I'm sure not a lot of people are advertising it, but be sure you read the fine print. There is fine print. If you are going to the parks anytime, right as soon as Star Wars Land opens, please get your extra park ticket. It's completely free. You just go on the Disney website and it's a free thing to sign up for, but that is the only way you are getting into Star Wars Land when it first opens at Disneyland. I don't know if it's happening at Disney World. It might be happening at Disney World as well, but, it's but they have a reservation. Really, yes. Like a reservation to yes. get in. You don't have the reservation? You can't get in. And you I feel really bad for any of the cast members who are gonna have to go through that first couple days of opening yeah. saying, sorry, you don't have a ticket. So future cast members, I feel for you. I can't imagine what it's gonna be like when Star Wars Land opens and people try to get in and you tell them that they can't. But remember everyone, there's gonna be long lines, but bring the Disney magic. 
Yes, and don't be mean to the cast members. The cast members, I've watched way too many YouTube videos about cast members just, oh, going through the thick of it during these kinds of things. So please be kind to your cast members. They are doing their job. They are not here to be mean to you. Be kind. Just like Cinderella says in her movie, be kind and courageous. Oh, I like that. You're good. Anyways, for Disney World, we have heard though that there is not gonna be any Fast Pass Plus reservations available prior to Star Wars Land opening like it was for Toy Story Land. Now I know when you guys, you guys got to go for Toy Story Land opening and they did have Fast Pass Plus yes, reservations available, but it has been stated on the Disney websites that there is not gonna be Fast Pass Plus available for Disney World Star Wars Land. So please just be aware, for, aware of that. I think there's gonna be two rides, two rides. That's why I understand it. There's gonna be two rides. There's gonna be a Millennium Falcon ride, which will be awesome as well I'm as, that yeah, that one's gonna be really cool. And then another Stormtrooper Alliance one. Just be aware. I see all these memes going out on the internet saying like how bad it was when New Fantasyland opened, how bad it was when Avatar Land opened, how bad it was when Toy Story Land opened. So please, if you know you're going, if people are gonna be there, if you this is your first time to Disney during Star Wars Land opening, just be aware. It is not gonna be short waits. I remember when Avatar Land opened, yeah. we waited two and a half to three hours just to get on Flight of Passage because there were no fast passes. But bring a snack. Make sure you've got water. Have yes. the games on your phone. Yes. Hollywood Studios is bringing the big bucks this upcoming year. They have Star Wars Land opening. They have Mickey Mouse Railway opening. They just opened Toy Story Land. Gosh, what is Disney not doing at Hollywood Studios? They have that new Cars Land thing coming up, the new TV, oh, or not TV show. They have that new, um, I don't know if it's gonna be a ride. I still haven't fully understood what it's gonna be, but they're gonna have a Cars Land-ish thing. Yeah, Something which will be cars. Over super by exciting. A rock and roller coaster. Where the old um, Lights Motors Action Show used to be in the back lot tour, so in the back over there. It's not gonna be oh. by Hollywood. It's not gonna be I by. That's what I read. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I don't have know. To look that up too. We'll have to look that up too. But the best thing about this is that inside the mug it says hurry back, just like um, little Leota says to you at the end of the Haunted Mansion ride, which I absolutely love. Haunted Mansion, you guys, by far is the best ride. And people can people can fight me on that. Let's go. Haunted Mansion by far, hands down. One of the best rides at Disney World. Uh, okay, Magic Kingdom. That'd be your best ride? Oh no. We're not gonna bring overall. If we're oh, bringing overall into okay, this, what are you if we're bringing overall into this, that's gonna be tough. It's gonna be real tough. Cause it'll be, it'll have to be a ride that I wanna go on all the time. I mean, obviously that's the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> all right, I'm feeling. They're not done. Oh, it's just starting to smoke a little bit. Wanted to check smoke. it out. Okay, so overall, I feel like it's impossible to pick a ride that is your favorite. If you are a Disney fanatic like me, talk to anybody who's been there multiple times, who has season passes, it's impossible. <laughs> now it's really smoking. Yes, it is. That's why We're gonna I set this it. house on fire. <laughs> okay, fine, Magic Kingdom. Oh, Haunted Mansion. Epcot. I don't know with the new Ga Guardians of the Galaxy ride coming out, but as of right now, favorite ride at um, Mission, or not Mission Space, Spaceship Earth. Favorite ride at Animal Kingdom now Ooh, is Flight Pass Passage. Passage. Do you want to know what? I, I love was, that ride. Yes, but I also found out that they updated it a couple weeks ago. <laughs> So now, instead of just feeling the uh, breathing of the Banshee, Banshee, you can feel the wings flying on the Banshee. So you can feel it in your calves, and then you feel it at the top of when your knees. When are we knees. going again? Oh, we were supposed to talk about that. Hollywood Studios, favorite ride at Hollywood Studios. I don't think those are done enough. I'm just checking them out. 
Favorite ride at Hollywood Studios. Let's see. I feel like with everything, I haven't gone to Toy Story Land. So I feel like that would change my, change my opinion. But as of right now, as of right now, Rock and Roll Coaster. Not your favorite there? I don't have to go on that one enough. I love Toy Story Mania. Oh, that one's good too. Shoot. I also really like Star Wars, but you get sick on that ride. That yeah. one, um, that one, I don't know what the problem is. I can't go on that one. The dad's over here in the peanut gallery saying that he- Tower will... of Terror. Oh, come oh, on. Oh man, come Tower join. of Terror. Get up, come join. We have to scoot over. He's made me go on that many times. Hey. Bacon. Bacon's, good. Bacon's good. We're cooking bacon upstairs mm. on top of doing waffles down here. Okay. So, I'm thinking hey girl. they're just not brown enough for you, but they're pretty done. Okay. I'm fine with that. So, we're going to take these out and look at them in a second. All right, you guys, so that'll be the end of making waffles here on the Disney dish and cooking with the Keenitzes. <laughs> All of the fun things to say. Anyways, so final thoughts and review on the waffle maker. I think they make great waffles. Um, you don't, um, I, we didn't try them out on very high darkness, but this is what they look like. They get slightly brown, very white on the edges, but we've been eating them slowly here in the kitchen. <laughs> And they taste really good. They don't taste too doughy. I think mm. they're cooked all the way through. Yeah, and they're delicious. I'm excited to eat more of these for dinner. Um, I don't know if this was our mistake or the waffle maker's mistake. Probably. Mm. I overfilled it. Okay, so our mistake. <laughs> <laughs> the dog just came and joined us. Um, but yeah, I think it's a great overall waffle maker. I'm excited to make more waffles with it in the mm. future. Like the shapes all came out really well too. I think you can adorable. definitely tell that it's Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Goofy on the waffle. So I'm very pleasantly surprised about how good this waffle maker is. So if you get a chance to, uh, it's Disney Eats. What is it called? Um, just Disney Eats. Just waffle Disney maker. Eats Waffle Maker. It's fantastic. Get it. It. We'll cook your waffles. I don't know. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. If you're hesitant on buying this waffle maker, do it. If you want a waffle maker, a Disney one, I'd recommend this one because you can make four different characters instead of just one, which is the nice thing about this waffle like maker. It. So I would recommend getting this one over any of the other waffle makers that Disney makes because you get four waffles that are all different characters. And I think it can be fun for the family as well as friends. So. You can sure. have them all pick whichever Cute ones brunch. they would like. Yeah, it's good for brunch. All right, you guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. That would greatly help me out. By the way, you guys, we reached 50 subs this week and I'm so excited, woo! <laughs> If you would like to follow me on other social media, I will link that down below. If you like this video, please like it and comment down below. Let's think of a quick question. Favorite Disney character? I know that might be a really hard question for some of you to answer, but hey, if you can answer it, comment down below. I look forward to reading all of your guys' answers. But with that, we are off and we will see you guys on our next adventure. Bye.